Right, hello everyone, and welcome to this new series. Um, so I, I, I don't know if I came up with this myself or someone suggested it. I really don't remember. It was fucking ages ago. Um, we are basically doing nothing to Lux Bike, and then we're gonna give the account away. We, I mean me. I did pay for this, so you know. Yeah, um, we're doing nothing to Lux Bike, so from the start to finish, and obviously we got to do this stuff first. Um, I'm just showing how literally easy it is to get a Lux Bike. It's not hard. And, I mean, if you actually like the game, then you won't mind grinding for it because you enjoy the game. So, yeah, um, let's start with the tutorial. I just got to have to turn the music off as well. Right, now that we're in the lobby, you know, as it says on the back of our shirt, it says Lux Bike, so that's what we're going for. Um, yeah, simple stuff really. Um, I'm not going to go for a sponsor, because we don't need it. It's kind of pointless. I suppose we could, but, you know, give the person free choice on what they want to be um, to whoever wins this. Uh, Career Plus can't do that yet, because what is it? Need 100k total rep, so we'll have to start by going to the Highlands. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to go from the Highlands to... Uh, you know what? I'll, yeah, I'll do the Highlands to the Peaks, but um, I might do voiceover. It might be a bit easier. Because I don't need... What is it? I don't need any of the... Um, any particular items or anything. I'm just going for Lux Spike. It's just going to basically have a ton of extraordinaries and nothing really else. I'm just going to make sure I get... A decent chunk of rep when I can, you know. It looks nice with the white UI. I actually quite like it. You don't see it too often, obviously, because as I've played this game so much, I don't have white UI anymore. As it is only, you know, Highlands, uh, there's not really much that goes on. I just tried to aim for around 10,000 rep. We got there in the end. Just picking up as many of the sort of like crew members as possible just to make sure that we're, you know, getting the most benefit out of our bike that we can because crew members really do help, especially when you get that heavier impact one. And I also got Fakie Balance on my second one, which is really nice. Didn't think I'd use it and I ended up using it quite a lot a bit later when we get to the canyons because I was like, oh, I may as well just go for 100k and one full run. So just did that and it was rather simple. Um, yeah, this is just what the series is going to be. Probably a lot of farming. This is probably going to be the one unique episode where we go for all of the different sort of areas, but that's just because we had to do it for getting 100k rep to get to the desert but that is really all it is it is just, just as simple as that so yeah um next up we have the forest and here's the boss jump there you go no? decent chunk and quite a few achievements popped up there got three achievements not too bad And it got me some purple goggles, very cool. Uh, I'll take that. So the forest really is just the forest, it's normal forest business. Um, just tried to get as much rep as I could out of this one. Um, I did die, but you know, it's not that much of an issue. I like a bale, didn't fully die. Um, but yeah, I ended up going down to the bottom by mistake. And it kind of worked out anyway, because um, yeah, it just allowed me to get more rep, basically. That was fucking pointless. Lost a few thousand rep there, that's a bit of an L. Didn't really want that to happen. Just trying to do some stupid wheelies to keep my rep up and it just kills me like that because the floor for some reason is hella bumpy. Kind of took an L on that one, um, bailing just of, of a stupid wheelie. Should have been able to hold it. I uh, didn't realise that the floor was as bumpy as it is in the forest. I just assumed it was rather flat, you know. Uh, it turns out it has little micro bumps, which I think I just pulled too far back on. Uh, ended up getting me killed. Not too big of an issue, really. Um, lost 1600 rep. It's a bit of a, you know, a hit, but not too bad. I mean, I ended up getting 100k in the end, but you know. Um, minor setback really, and uh, next up we are off to the Mega Ramp, luckily, and it makes it a bit more interesting. Nice, Mega Ramp time. <laughs> Yeah. 
I wonder if it will do you that. Will it give it to me? And then if I reset, oh, I didn't keep it. Okay. Easy. Well, that's a nice, decent chunk of 5k rep. I'll take that. Yeah, so just after getting that, just went into an enemy node. Um, I thought of not doing those just so I didn't get a sponsor, but I thought if I just do an enemy node, it would give me a bunch of stunts, and you know, that's a good chunk of rep that you can get from those. And it's just rather helpful. Uh, I could have done it on a kinetic node and just done it, got like 3k rep from high speed. It probably would have been a bit more worth it. I'm not entirely sure, but you never know with those tracks, they can just be sometimes rather wiggly, which is really odd because they're meant for be just straight lines basically, so you can get fast speeds really. Um, but yeah, it is just as simple as this. This is the only really like tedious part. I suppose the whole thing is a bit tedious, but I just wanted to get this out of the way so we could, you know, continue and get to the real farming because the excitement is getting what whatever item it could be more than anything. This place always looks so nice at this time. Oh, and the, the lighting that they've done here, it just looks so good. This is a whoa, best time to ride the forest. Jesus Christ, almost died. Yeah, this is definitely the best time to ride the forest. It just looks so nice. There we go. Um, yeah, it's just so much better to have the green ones than anything else. But to the canyon we go. I only like the canyon because you can do like loads of tricks everywhere. Also, don't like that feature. It's really horrible. But this is what I used to do when um, farming right before the desert strat came a thing. Let's definitely just come here and use all of like the terrain to your advantage. There's so much stuff that you can just do flips and tricks off of because they like raise up the mounds and whatnot so you can do a lot of stuff like just using these to 360 backflip off of them to get quite a bit of rep. Really useful. Well, that guy sucks. So this did mainly consist of me doing a bunch of flips and stuff like that. It wasn't anything like crazy um, for the first half uh, and then started to like slow down a bit and then I uh, tried to fake it as much as I could because of the fact that it was just giving me more rep and I tried to aim to get about 80k uh, out of so like when I left the desert I'd have I'd be on around 80,000 and then um, I could probably get the 20,000 in the peaks and then when I was at the 80,000 I was like oh I'm not entirely sure if I'll get it in time um, so I just switched it up and just started faking even more and we got to like 99,000 or something like that and then just moved on to the peaks because I found it a lot easier to do it that way rather than wait around just doing it uh, with a really slow method and then having to like do another Highlands run just to claim the last bit of rep I just didn't feel like doing it so I thought I'd just get it all in one go make it a lot easier for myself you know just simple sort of stuff like that Uh, we'll move on to this one. We'll just try and farm as much rep as we can from these nodes because it's very much worth it. And we're 28 minutes in, which isn't bad, including the uh, tutorial, so not too bad at all. 50k rep in that amount of time is not too shabby, especially when you're doing it through this way rather than doing it through an efficient method. It's definitely better than it could be. So here is when I sort of started to think about just actually farming rep properly because then I was like going on to more nodes rather than just continuing on trying to get through to the peaks I just thought ah oh, it's probably a lot better if I get it all in one run and technically one episode I also thought about that because obviously people are gonna want to see me grind for items rather than 
just watch uh, me go from the highness of the peaks because I guess it is as interesting but like I don't know it felt more fun I guess um, but I'm not really sure obviously not a lot of people when they start out they're not going to do this straight away obviously because they're new they don't know how to play the game and stuff like that so you're obviously going to just be trying to have fun at this point and I mean that's fair enough but this is literally like speedrun account I guess uh, I'm just trying to get the luck spike um, because you know I thought it'd be a good video idea and I mean people love the luck spike for some reason there will probably be a bunch of other bikes we'll end up getting in between um, and if I do stream it I'll do 50k runs rather than 250k runs because they're just rather draining and then I can get people to like join in in multiplayer lobbies and don't have to go on for that long you know it's just a bit easier but yeah uh, it was mostly just a combination of trying to find flattish nodes and faking it as much as I could the problem with faking here rather than faking in the desert um, is the fact that there's a lot of curves and you have to go around all of the corners and you can't just go off in a straight line um, because the desert is completely flat and this one really isn't. So yeah, it's just about going on like this and having to keep faking because, you, I mean, it's literally the whole strategy because it gives you such a great amount of rep, you're going to have to do it anyway. And I mean, I was very lucky to get the perk. I definitely, if I didn't get the perk, like whatsoever, I don't think I would have even tried to do it because it would have just been such a pain in the ass. So um, I'm glad I got the perk literally as my second one. So it made it so much easier when it came to the later stage to get loads of rep. So definitely look out for that perk because it really does help you out, especially if you're just trying to unlock the desert. Because obviously I don't know how many of you actually have it unlocked and how many don't because obviously a lot of people play a lot of bike parks and nothing else. Okay, made it. That's good. Okay, we're almost to the finish. That'll be the Highlands of the Peak ones done, and then we'll have two gear sets to look at, basically. Uh, maybe we could have actually just got 10k under here. I didn't really think about that. I forgot that everywhere around here is super fast, so you just gain and rep like rapidly. So we hit like 100k rep or 90k rep or basically almost there. Um, I forgot about the fact that high speed gives you a ton of rep and it's really helpful. Just to have high speed rep is just ridiculously easy and I definitely think um, you could rep farm here if you really wanted to but it's just going to be a bit awkward and obviously it's a bit more difficult. It's not as like the breeze that it is in the desert so um, it's definitely easier to get here. Um, but having 100k rep just meant I had more chance of getting a luck spike um, which would have been sad to be honest if I got it straight away because uh, I would have like just lost all motivation I probably would have gone for like all of the luck spikes then so you know it's whatever but yeah if you didn't know uh, the more rep that you have at the bottom of your screen whilst playing in the career um, the more chance chance it's not 100% um, like the more luck you will have uh, you might get a luck spike it is just completely random it's never a hundred percent chance <laughs> and up okay bus jump time oh, I don't I don't mind I do have enough I have way too much actually no I could do it Nope, didn't make it. There we go. And we are done for unlocking the desert and from Highlands to the Peaks. So that should give us some outfits. Let's see what item we get. It's been a long time since I've seen getting an item. Well, we got an extraordinary, uh, which is good. So <laughs> we only have extraordinary so far. So nothing to all of this stuff, basically. Yeah, but that was uh, our first extraordinary, which is a action Hank head. And we're also going to the, the uh, end bit. Wheeling through the credits.
Yep, and we got career plus unlocked, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, oops. Well, yeah, at least we made it down here. Yeah, so, so far we have absolutely nothing. And then we're going to go to getting a luck spike. And then we also got action hit cat. So, not bad whatsoever. Nothing to luck spike episode one finished. Yeah. Um, I hope you lot enjoyed. And um, thanks very much for watching. I'll continue doing this, obviously, until we get a luck spike. And at the end of that, we'll be giving the... Uh, bike and this account away with descenders, so you basically get descenders and lux bikes, or, uh, I guess, you know, or probably a lux bike, I don't know if I can be bothered to get all of them, but yeah, um, thank you very much to my members, Mr. Price Green, Neil Stu, and Harry VFX, thank you very much for being members, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I'll see you a lot later, uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and you'll see when it gets released, so yeah, thank you, bye.